Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Preparation video for December 14th, 2022. Oh my goodness, um, a lot of over speculation and heavily hyped up uh, market emotion. We experienced a nasty little whipsaw yesterday that probably left everyone wondering what in the world comes next. Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's see if we can sort through all of this wild price action, gain a little bit of information about how we may want to approach the market today on the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, we had quite a wild ride yesterday with um, uh, emotion spilling out all over the place, gapping up 800 points on a better than expected um, CPI report, but then really the realization that probably with 6% inflation rate still hanging in there, that it wasn't likely going to change the stance of the FOMC. And that is what we face today. So let's take a look at these charts and see if we can, you know, make some sense out of this. When we take a look at the Dow, the, the thing that really seems very um, important to me, first off, we, we I keep mentioning this, but we want to remember that the Dow is the strongest index in the market. Now, we also want to remember it is the smallest index in the market. Only 30 companies make up the Dow, and um, they have been able to push this triggering all of this market bullishness emotion with this idea that suddenly the Fed is going to pivot. And maybe that's true. I don't know. Um, but what I would suggest is this is also one of the most dangerous indexes right now. And that 800 point gap and pull all the way back yesterday certainly displays that. So when I look at this chart, what I see here is a very dangerous price range that um, is about 1200 1300 points between the high and the low and as you guys know when i look at a chart and i'm thinking about the day ahead i want to look at this chart and say well what are the expectations what could occur well if we look at this market and suggest that if the bulls if the bulls find inspiration today about the best we can do is look to these next these resistance levels in the chart and say well we could push all the way up here we could push up here and and that would be a reversal of five six hundred points on the day making for a pretty dangerous situation when you think about it and um, we also have to consider the massive amount of price resistance that we show in that chart overhead so we'll want to watch that closely now on the other side if the bears find inspiration today well if we were to set right in here then the only place we really have for support would be a drop down here that's another six seven hundred points down to that support level in the chart. Now what I'm trying to display here is the wild emotion that we've seen in the market and that the that the Dow is producing some extreme danger no matter which way you decide to trade it, either bullish or bearish, there is a lot of risk to any kind of a logical stop loss in the price action of the chart. And I think this uncertainty is creating an awful lot of uh, pain for traders out there. The, uh, these wild whips are creating significant losses on a lot of folks' accounts. Um, or they're being a little bit more cautious like me and just saying, you know what, I'm not going to put money at risk when I have no edge. When it's turned into straight up gambling and there's no edge, I don't want to do much of anything. I just want to protect my capital because it's not worth me risking my capital in such a vast range of uncertainty here 
in um, the market. Now, looking, um, and, and I don't know how that we could look at it any other way than that with um, Jerome Powell coming up and so much emotion wrapped around um, his comments. Now, if we were to take a look at the SPY, SPY very much in the same situation, but we have an additional problem here. That additional problem is we ran up here and we tried to break that downtrend resistance in the chart. We popped through it and rejected it on the day. We have a significant level of price resistance in the chart as well that we're having to deal with um, in the SPY. So looking at this chart, we also have that really wide range, but unfortunately, I have to turn this one instead of green, I have to turn this one red. And the reason I do is because of that downtrend and major price resistance level that we have rejected in this chart so far. So with that being said, if we were to find bullishness here today from our point right here that we're looking at at the open, well, then we look back up here. That big point move to come right back up here to the top would seem the likely location if we get there. And it, it is a very big move, meaning that there's considerable risk in it. And unfortunately, we're sitting right here on this price support in the chart. If we find bearish inspiration today, it once again suggests we could come all the way back down here to find that support today. A very painful move in the chart and um, big point move that I think is extremely dangerous with so much um, emotion and speculation driving this wild and crazy price action. Now, I know there's a tremendous hope that we're gonna see that Santa Claus rally and we continue to see um, institutional reports trying to inspire that thought process of saying, oh, Santa Claus is coming, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Well, believe me when I say, in all the years that I've traded, there are some years where Santa Claus just doesn't show up. In fact, it kind of becomes more of a Grinch um, situation. So keep in mind, it's not a, it's not cemented in stone that Santa has to show up and that we're going to get a massive rally. And particularly with the thought process and all of the warnings from the institutions of recession next year and problems ahead. So kind of keep that in mind. It could be a situation where we have already experienced the biggest part of the rally here for the end of the year. Now let's take a look at the Qs. The QQQ exploded in volatility yesterday on that data of the CPI coming down. But what I want you to notice is we rallied directly into that downtrend resistance on the chart and then rejected it. So looking at this chart, once again, I am going to draw it up like this. I'm gonna show the downtrend in the chart. I am going to show the price resistance in the chart. And I've got to turn that one red as well. So if we find that bullish inspiration in the market, well then watch for that opportunity that we could push up in here and retest that level. Keeping in mind, we still have overhead resistance in that chart. But if those bears, if those bears come in and find inspiration, we really don't have much um, other place to go um, except right back down here. And we know how critical that is in, this, in the QQQ. If we were to fail this level here in the QQQ, I would suggest we're probably heading to a retest of the lows of the year. So um, a, lot of, a lot of uncertainty here in this chart as well. Now let's jump over and let's take a quick peek at the IWM. IWM also in a very wide range chop and um, if we take a look at this, well, we popped up in here and what did we do? Well, doggone it, we didn't make it out from underneath that downtrend again. So once again, I have to draw this up and make it turn red here with that downtrend and overhead resistance that we see here in the chart, pretty substantial. Um, um, in that chart. So if we find that bullish inspiration today, well, a move up into these levels right in here. Um, let me get a drawing tool that can be seen maybe just a little bit better. Um, we might be able to move up into these price resistance levels right here. 
Um, and if we can push on through there then and deal with that uh, downtrend resistance, well then you can see the next resistance level above. However, if, if those bears um, find the inspiration, you can also see it wouldn't be all that much of a problem to see us coming right back down here retesting these lows and kind of keep in mind we broke that support in here already this rally back didn't do a very good job of holding it as support so it wouldn't be all that hard to view this as a double top high that made a lower low followed by a lower high which kind of suggests a lower low maybe on the way here in IWM. So watch that carefully and closely today. If we were to take a look at our VIX, boy, we've had some real interesting price action in the VIX. Um, in fact, almost kind of some puzzling price action in the VIX overall. Um, we spiked up on that big pop, that big reversal on Tuesday we spiked in fear on um, that bullish move. And then yesterday, we ended up taking it all the way back um, and pushing us right back down here, even as the market whipsawed and gave up the big gain of the day. So really confusing um, chart here on the VIX, but it is displaying the wild emotion that this market is trying to deal with. And I, I continue to say, and I, I, I think it's true, the over, way overhyped gambling um, type attitude that we're coming to the market. This over speculation in this market is creating some very dangerous conditions for um, me as a retail trader and I think for most retail traders because of that crazy price moves that we're seeing in the market. So watch that closely. Now, if the bulls can find that inspiration here today and push us higher, then I would look for this little support area right in here to break and we push back down into some of these levels in here. On the other hand, if the bears find the inspiration here today, I would look for this support level to potentially hold, pushing back up, and we'll start testing these additional resistance levels in the chart to see if that fear starts coming back into the market as we head into a likely recession next year. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 at the open yesterday, we opened all the way up here in the bearish reversal zone. Um, the sell-off, the whipsaw of that big move brought us back down and at one point we were close to the 50% area but then we got that um, right at the end of the day we got a little bit of a push back to the upside so what that did is it left us in a situation where we're above the median level of the chart um, here um, in our T2122. So if the bulls find inspiration today, we certainly have uh, provided ourselves some upside opportunity. So depending on how uh, Powell comes off in his comments, well, um, we certainly have opened up that upside opportunity, but we also have to recognize that T2122 doesn't give us the direction of the market. What it does tell us is where those um, pressure valves are in the market. And you can see that we have um, also a very big opportunity to move back to the downside. So with these big wild whips, and, and again, that range in the Dow, it's about 1,300 points between the high and the low, a very dangerous market condition. If we take a look at our T2107, T2107 improved, and it improved a little bit on at, right at the end of the day where we push back up. So once again, there's nothing bad here in this chart, and I continue to have to suggest that the bulls are definitely in control here with 46% of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average. But having said that, it's pretty easy to also um, see the danger in this market because of the wild volatility and how quickly um, this could change. If we take a look at our T2108, our T2108, also I'm gonna give this to the bulls. We're still holding in here on the support levels in the chart. 
but you can see how quickly things can change and how this could suddenly become bearish or suddenly become very very bullish so be prepared for some very wild price action again today now with a wild price action i'm going to skip right over t2101 because we're not getting good data there right now with all of this wild emotion and whipsaws um, what we're going to do is we're just going to jump straight over to our um, economic calendar for today and what the motion is going to be about today is going to be all focused in on the FOMC. Now of course this morning we're going to get those uh, mortgage applications, we're going to get import export prices that are not expected by consensus to be positive. We're looking for that to go deeper into a, a negative situation here this morning. So watch that closely. Um, we have that Atlanta business fed expectations don't don't or inflation expectations. I wouldn't expect that to be market moving at all. The petroleum status, of course, will be important today. We've seen um, oil prices be very volatile here recently. Um, so watch that one close. And then, of course, it's going to be the FOMC. Now, the announcement is going to be important. Obviously. Obviously, it's largely expected that they are going to raise the interest rates by 50 basis points. I doubt Powell is going to disappoint the market and change that. But that's not going to be the emotional part of the day. The emotional part of the day is going to be right here in his press conference. Is the Fed going to provide the market their very hoped for pivot? It's creating all of this emotion. This is the third time the market has got out in front of the Fed thinking that the Fed is going to back off and suddenly shift and just become all dovish. This is the third time that we have gone through these wild emotional swings with the market trying to predict what the Fed is going to do. Or will the Fed continue to talk tough on inflation and continue to suggest that there may be more rate hikes on the way and disappoint on that idea of pivot. I kind of, me personally, think it's going to be the latter, but we shall see. What we can expect, though, is this press conference is going to create tremendous emotion. If the Fed does pivot or hint that they're relaxing, thinking uh, you know that everything's going to get better, that rates aren't going to go any higher, that kind of thing, look for the market to celebrate in a big way. I mean, really celebrate, and that could really set the stage for the Santa Claus rally that everyone is hoping for, and the institutions are have been hyping for. If Powell comes off as hawkish, continuing to talk tough, tr continuing to tamp down this idea of a sudden pivot that all of a sudden rates are going to start reversing um, and lightening up, then we might end up seeing him more like the Grinch. And he may be the Grinch that stole the Christmas rally um, and could set the stage for more consolidation or even downside in the market as we head toward the end of the year. So watch that closely. I would expect huge displays of emotion in the price action this afternoon. Be very, very careful. Then, if that weren't enough, if we could relax, that would be nice. But nope, we're not going to relax because tomorrow we have a full meal deal of market moving events um, in, that we'll have to pay attention to. So kind of keep in mind as you plan forward, there's some big reports that could move us a ton um, on Thursday. So be prepared for more volatility as the week progresses. Let's take a look um, at our earnings calendar. Now our earnings calendar continues to lighten up here, um, winding down the year on earnings, but we do have some notables today. I'm gonna go over those really quick. We're gonna hear from Lennar after the bell today. That might be the most notable of the day. Um, as housing continues to be an, um, an interesting situation here where we're actually seeing builders move up as home prices fall and sales decline. Kind of an interesting market condition for sure. So watch that closely on Lennar. Um, MITK will be reporting today. Looks like they are popping and dropping in the pre-market here just a little bit. Um, NDSN, 
Um, we'll also be reporting today. Keep an eye on that. We'll hear from REVG today. Watch that one close. And TCCOM um, will also be reporting. So keep an eye on that. Um, those reports not exactly the market moving kind of reports um here so don't look for a lot of drama there so with that guys um let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow now i need to apologize because i got busy yesterday and i didn't get a chance to answer those comments i, I did go through and read them all cleaned out all the spam and um just a word of warning if you ever ever get a comment um response back to what you said that comes from a whatsapp do not click on that. Do not follow the whip WhatsApp. It is a scam. It is spam coming onto the channel. I delete them off all the time, but sometimes they get past me for a little while. Do not respond, okay? Um, I will never, ever send you a WhatsApp and ask you to call me. Let's take a look um, at some of these stocks that could be setting up for today. And please keep in mind, guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. Do your own due diligence. And honestly, today, guys, my method is to stand aside. I am going to protect my capital. I do not see an edge in this market with this wild volatility. So when I show you these charts, keep that in mind. I am not probably going to be a buyer here on the day. Um, some Maybe some safety places that you could look, um, um, as I've mentioned, um, um, whoops, XLU. Um, utilities have been kind of a bright spot here recently and honestly a rather controlled rally to the upside. Kind of a, a, a nice sight in a market that's filled with volatility. Keep an eye on some of those utilities. We had a little pop and drop yesterday that might rest back and provide a pretty decent opportunity. Take a look at gold. Gold popped up hard yesterday with the dollar falling sharply after that data point. Gold has been very, very strong. As you guys know, I've been talking about this for a while. Keep an eye on it. It's just looking pretty darn good. Silver. Silver continuing that run to the upside. A little pop and drop yesterday, but still showing lots and lots of strength in silver. I think it probably needs a little bit of consolidation and rest for another entry, but watch that closely. Another place I think you can go is take a look at some bonds. Um, take a look at TIP. Um, TIP bonds could be setting up here. Nice little resting pattern in here. Nice little backup and filling of consolidation. Notice we're coming out here close to trend. I would be watching for that opportunity maybe to get into TIP bonds. Um, uh, TLT, as you guys know, is something that I'm holding. I've been adding to this position um, in this chart since, let's see, since right here on that alert. You guys know I've been talking about this. Um, I'm looking for more of a rest or pullback in here, so I wouldn't want to chase into this trade. Um, I want to see that, honestly, I want to see this pullback or rest more. I want to have more of a, a good support area to add to this trade. So watch that closely. I think there's still maybe uh, plenty of upside um, in TLT to be watching. I think we have to really start taking a look at the potential short side of energy stocks. Uh, noticing what we've got going on here where we broke support in the chart. Now we've rallied back to that resistance. Look for that opportunity here that these could become short trades following that downtrend um, to the downside. And that would be really based on the fact that demand may be coming down with um, all the issues that we're seeing in China and Europe um, and the economy slowing down and just that recession that we're likely facing um, in the coming year. So watch some of those closely. But with that, guys, I'm running really short of time. I was 
too long-winded on the explanations um, in the index charts today, so I'm going to have to cut this off. I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. I want to wish you all of the best. Be careful. Be safe. Make sure, make sure you have an edge if you decide to trade today. And I wish you all the best. See you bright and early Thursday morning. Take care, everyone.